Welcome back, everyone. We're headed into the middle of 2024. Listen, if you followed me, you know that I think you know, as hot as the beginning of 2024 is, I think as we go into summer and then especially fall, like many of you that are in the day trading world, you know kind of once you get past that kind of summer lull, past vacation time, kids are back in school, weather starts cooling off, markets heat up, like, like some of the hottest times of year for day trading or like fall, winter, and then you kind of go into like spring break time and it quiets down. Now, the reason I bring that up is I want you to be prepared, okay? I'm not saying summer's gonna be slow. I think summer is gonna be hotter than all of 2023, but then I think we're gonna go absolutely parabolic into the end of the year. And the reason I'm doing this video now is I want you ready. Like, listen, if you're trying to figure out these strategies and these patterns in the middle of that hot market, you're probably going to get confused and frustrated. So I want to get you ready in advance. So we're going to be talking about scalping and trend trading strategies in 2024 and why I think it is so hot. So that being said, today we're diving into two of the most popular trading strategies called scalping and trend trading. While I primarily practice trend trading, understanding both approaches is crucial for adapting to market conditions and understanding different participants. Listen, at the end of the day, we're here to make money. The, the setups, the chart patterns, the techniques come and go. Sometimes scalping's hot, sometimes scalping's quieter. Sometimes going long is hot, sometimes going short is hot. Many times penny stocks are the hottest, but sometimes penny stocks quiet down and we rotate over to uh, trading what I call real stocks or higher price stocks. Sometimes everything's quiet and we rotate over to ETFs. Sometimes that dies off and we go back into cryptos. What's great about all of these strategies is they give you the ability to capitalize on what the market gives you. I can't force the market to give me a perfect setup, but I can recognize what is working and capitalize on that with experience and knowledge and reviewing my data. So that being said, scalping involves making numerous trades throughout the day to capture small price changes. It requires quick decisions and constant market monitoring. You know, it's, it's, it's involved. Like you can't leave the computer if you're scalping, which is great if you have the time. Now, on the other hand, trend trading involves identifying the stock's overall direction over longer periods of days and weeks. And we use that with multiple timeframes on our chart, including intraday as well as daily charts. And we align those multiple trend, trends to find uh, trends. Uh, you know, and so what we do is we use three different timeframes, the five day, two-day uh, two chart, the 15-day, two-month chart, and the one-year, one-day chart. And what we're looking for on those three time frames is trend alignment. And when we find trend alignment, we can focus on fewer trades and the best possible risk to reward. Now, it takes a little more thought and planning, but to align all of that with quantity over quality. So with trend trading, the process involves analyzing charts, market trends, before the market opens. What's nice about it is you can do a lot of this time and studying on nights and weekends. It's a great way for part-time traders. Scalping, you gotta be locked in. Trend trading is a great way to still get exposure to the market, potentially make profits without having to sit there every single second of the day. And because we use multiple time frames, we can do our technical analysis to set clear entry and exit points based on those trends and allow us to stick to a disciplined trade plan. This approach contrasts with scalping, which demands rapid entries and exits, just looking for small blips on the chart, often reacting to minute by minute uh, market changes. So let's talk about how to do this and applications, okay? When it comes down to it, we always have to do pre-market analysis. Before the market opens at 9.30 Eastern, I analyze charts to plan my trades, focus on potential entries and exits. This preparation is absolutely key to executing a successful trend trading strategy. Next is goals, okay? This is what a lot of people screw up. They don't have goals for their trades, so what happens is they're right and the trade works, but then they don't have a plan and they don't have a goal, they overstay, the stock starts pulling back, and since they had no plan and no goal, they panic, they become a deer in the headlights, and then give back all the gains. Have you done that? Like, like let me know, have you bought a stock and be honest, let me know in the comments. You bought the stock, you didn't have a plan, it went your way, but then you started seeing big dollar signs and huge price targets, and you got all excited, 
and then it reversed on you. And instead of taking a nice profit, you rode it all the way back to break even or heaven forbid a loser. Listen, I've done it, not proud of it. I've done it more times than I care to admit, but I fixed it by having a trade plan. And that being said, for every one of these trades, I always have a goal that aligns with my trade plan. Once those goals are met, I take profits, even if it's minutes after the entry. This disciplined approach helps to secure gains and manage risk, lock it in. Now, I also want you to understand different styles. While I focus on trend trading, understanding scalping and its appeal to some traders adds valuable tools to my trading toolkit. It helps me adapt to different market conditions and understand the actions of traders who use different strategies. Listen, if I know what everyone else is doing, I can capitalize on that, even if it's scalping. So whether trend trading or exploring scalping, you need to know that you always have to have defined risk management and always have a plan. It's very important. Listen, scalping's a powerful strategy, but you're aiming for very small gains. So if you, all, you, know, if you don't have disciplined stops, what can happen, you can go on a great run scalping. You could have like 10 nice wins in a row, but if you let your stop slip, you could literally give back all of the gains from those 10 trades and be down. So you have to be so tight. Setting those stop losses and having clear targets ensures that you can manage your risk appropriately. At the end of the day, guys, I don't care if it's scalping or day trading or swing trading or investing. One of the most, thing, most important things you have to remember, this is a journey and you have to focus on continuous learning. The market's always evolving. So you should associate all of our strategies. Listen, the chart patterns and the setups I've been using forever, but they come and go. Sometimes going long is hot. Sometimes going short is hot. Sometimes scalping's hot. Sometimes swinging is hot. So if you have all of these tools in your tool chest, the most important thing to know is when to use them. Sometimes some tools stay in the tool chest. Sometimes they're our focus. So keeping abreast of market trends, economic news, and technical analysis tools is essential for adapting and refining trading approaches. So that being said, while my preference is for trend trading due to its aligned risk management and strategic understanding, scalping is beneficial when it's hot. It's about having a diversified approach to trading while you're equipped to navigate various market conditions efficiently. Remember, the key to successful trading lies in discipline, planning, and implementation, plus continuous learning and adapting to the market. Now, if you want to know how to use these strategies, if you want to know how to recognize these chart patterns, if you want to see what's hot, like, listen, I often say this, I love YouTube, okay? But this video is pre-recorded. Maybe you're watching it the day it's released. Maybe you're watching it a week later. Maybe you're watching it six weeks later. The awesome thing about what we call the Daily Income Trader System is live, free webinars every single day of the week, even mornings, evenings, nights, weekends, etc. So to get up to date on what's hot, what patterns are working, whether scalping or day trading or swing trading is hot, click that link, sign up. You can attend whenever it works for you. We start them early in the morning and go into the evening. Attend multiple if you wanna get more in depth. We're doing these things six times a day, 100% free, 100% live. There's zero downside in signing up. Click that link and we'll see you on the next webinar.